When I was a boy, I damaged my eye in a shotgun accident while at my grandfather's farm in Northern Ireland. Years later, the eye became disfigured and painful. I used to wear an eye patch to hide it. Eventually, the eye had to go. You know, doctor, what this is is impossible. I mean, a man loses an eye. Who can make him a new eye to see out of him? I was looking at the small camera on my cell phone, and I got to thinking about the bionic man. Cyborg. Better. Stronger. But I'm not the six million dollar man. In fact, I have no budget at all for this project, so I'm more like the zero dollar man. I want to turn my prosthetic eye into a wireless video camera. And even though I don't have any money, plenty of people have offered to help. Is there a mommy? much smaller, but let's say okay. one, one quarter of the size smaller than yeah, this one. Yeah. It's not a big deal. It's only 25, 24 million consumption. That's not a big deal. Raymond Lowe picked up all the cameras from Omnivision. Oh, it's in the, must be in the EA. Oh, so it's probably in the EA then. So can, so can, can, can I get Lowe. them right now? Like, can I take a cab and go get them? Yeah, I mean, but you need to put a crystal somewhere. Well, that's the point, you know. No, I know, but the thing is, but, but, the, but the thing is, you can put the crystal up on the side here. Like, I know, it that's possible. Right Why don't you do this way? You see this one? Yeah. We can take it out from the mold, from this plastic yeah. housing, yeah. and it's going to be much, much smaller. Only lens going to be there. Did you understand what those guys were talking about? I don't, but they do, and that's what counts. They're volunteering part-time with their considerable skill to what they see as a fun project. Steve Mann, in particular, is well-suited to guide this project from a conceptual point of view. He's also known as Cyberman, has been wearing video-enabled computers on his body since the early 80s. If I'm Luke Skywalker, this guy is Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is Costa. He's a self-taught whiz kid from California who's taken on the project full-time with me. He saw a Wired.com article about the project and contacted me to get involved. The last project he worked on had something to do with satellites. It obviously made him happy. Costa and I tried to get the Camera Eye prototype to work in the days before the Digital News Affairs Conference, where I'd be speaking in Brussels. Here's what went down. They're uh, testing to make sure that the VGA will fit according to its footprint. I'm trying to find pin one. Where's pin one? Um, this is the this is the design of the PCB. Single layer board very wafer thin. We are here to see if the bionic eye that Costa designed uh, will work. Can you tell these guys where and how you designed that? Uh, I designed this on Rob's couch in his guest bedroom <laughs> where I've been sleeping for the last two weeks. Um, it's a cozy place. Very cozy. There's a battery, a wireless transmitter, a board with the camera on it, and the camera's that tiny little shiny part. Then you take this stuff and you put it inside here on, and it goes in there. Because it's in two parts, there's room inside for the components. And it's clear enough that you'll get a clear image, relatively clear. We're going to make this better at some point. We'll press it all. So you're turning up power here? 3.7 volts. Uh, connect the ground. Connect. Pause. Oh, smoke's coming off it. See that? Smoke came off it. Maybe it was too much power, I think?
<laughs> I mean, like, this is probably the best thing that could happen in your documentary. For you to first episode. Well, yeah, it's drama, right? It's like a, it's like a setback. Yeah. You know, Neo didn't become the one, like, right away. Oh, wait, so, okay, hold on. Why? Like, I don't even know what's going on, but we thought we could um, make the board, connect everything up, and it would go. And I thought we'd asked enough questions and done our due diligence to ensure that. Uh, but it seems that uh, we've run into a snafu, a snag. And uh, back to the revisions. <laughs> well, obviously I'm like a fucking shitty nerd.